okay now we are able to save our roles and permissions into the into their corresponding tables and now there are two ways to implement those permissions right the first one is you can assign the permissions directly to a user and the other way is to create a role assign those permission to a role and then assign those um, assign that specific role to a user so this is a way how you can uh, assign the permission to a user through a role so first i'm going to implement this through the direct permission how you can assign the direct permission to a user okay uh, so here as you know that we already created those uh, things and i'm going to now create another uh, here you can see this we are created these uh, roles permission stuff and i'm going to create another tab where i'm going to store the permissions okay now i'm going to basically assign those permission to a user so for that purposes i'm going to or i can use the here i'm going to use the closure to explain it to you that i'm doing that thing because i need to then visualize them that how they are assigned but i'll get them out from here without any user interface so i'm going to say that to uh, assign permission assign permission to user something like this and i'm going to say that it will be the closure and here i'm going to first to find the user so at that time you know that i have created uh, my application now so that's why there is no user so as you know that whenever uh, we are <clears throat> uh, we are creating a new application we have a factory to seed that uh, user right so i'm going to uh, seed that user db seed so by default laravel uh, 11 and their lower version contain this uh, database seeder which included this user factory which is going to be executed here in the database seeder right this one on db seed and you can see this database seeding successfully close this out and if i go to my database click on this user and you can see this there is test user is added and this one is my role which i have registered i'm logged in as okay so now i have two roles and i'm going to basically find my first user here user okay let me also add this at the top uh, find and i'm going to find this using the two id so it will uh, execute the test user right so i'm going to copy that and open that out here permissions right? and you can see this i'm getting the test user details here right so now i want to assign the specific permission to that user so for that purposes you don't need to assign the permission directly edit article or so on stuff you need to first pull that permission from the database and then assign the permission so here i'm going to set the permission equal permission and by the way you can find the permission by find by name okay find by name method and here you can see this i'm going to say that edit articles okay and um, you need to also add its namespace at the top so i'm going to add its namespace okay done it's added and if i go here is it properly added no it's added wrong so let me copy it from the documentation it's similarly here let me go on to this documentation and okay let me copy it from my controller as i have mentioned there okay copy it and paste it at the top here doing the same for the role so later on we'll choose that role okay permissions so here i'm fetching this that permission so let me first show you that i'm getting that permission or not refresh and you can see this i'm now getting the permission of edit article which id is 2 right and card name is web by default it's stored as web 
okay so now i got the user and permission so how i can assign that specific permission to a user for that purpose i'm going to visit this uh Sparty here you can see this what's me to call this on the give permission to method okay so we have a user object and i'm going to call the method give give permission give permission to something like this so let me double check that okay good and then you you can directly pass the permission object you don't need to call this its name you can pass the object directly to right and here i'm going to say that to uh, permission assigned right and uh, before this i'm going to here if i go on to this uh, uh, this uh, database stuff so here you can see this uh, model has permission so you can treat model as a user so you can see that uh, read as user has permission so at that time there is no permission stored in this table so whenever i'll retry it right save it and you can see this permission is assigned so now it will get the value so refresh and you can see this it's now containing the permission to right if i click on that you can see this is pointing to the edit article so then there is a model 2 which is representing that it's stored it's basically linked this second user with our this uh, permissions right so we are successfully able to store that permission and in this way you can store the multiple permissions so let's say now you want to also assign this permission of show article so if i go ahead and get refresh um, go back here and you can see this now third permission is also assigned to that user right so we are successfully able to assign those permission to a user so then i'm going to say that assign assign permission to user okay here something like this and now you can your question is how we will get those permissions from the user right if user contain uh, those permissions so how we will get those permissions so we just go back to the basic usage and here you can read this how you can get the user permissions collection right you can directly get the permission something like this or you can get something like this okay so if i go here and type something like this user and then here you can call this so uh, get permissions names or directly permissions you don't need to create this relationship it's exist okay and i'm going to save them into the permissions permissions variable permissions okay so i'm going to now visit that again refresh and you can see this this now contain the two types of permissions edit article and you can see this another one is show article so in this way you can get those permission for a user and check their a uh, specific action that is this user contains then user can implement that you can also get the string for that user that uh, string for <clears throat> permission that you want to display their names in the string form so here you can see this edit article and show article so you can apply the condition if user contain the edit article or show article you can uh, authorize the user otherwise you will deny the user request right and uh, now you can learn the another thing that how you can revoke the user permission so as similarly you assign that permission so you need to call that revoke permissions right and if i close this out and here i'm going to say that user okay and i'm going to revoke that permission okay let me paste that exactly revoke permission and uh, what permission i want to revoke i'm going to set this permission right now basically i'm passing this permission show article so now this will be revoked so i'm going to say that revoked something like this or i'm going to get the all of permissions of that user so if this permission will be revoked so this will be not shown in the permission so now just go back refresh and here you can see this 
it's showing edit article and show article but it's not able to revoke that revoke permission okay let me check that why it's not revoking that permission okay if i go here and say revoked saved remove book permission revoked okay and if i go into my database refresh and you can see this now it's removed from here right and uh, if i go here and display that user permissions okay i'm commenting this out saved and let's get refresh and you can see this it's now contain the one array right so before this why it's not appearing this out because uh, um, it's taking some time to revoke that permission and then it's now revoked okay good job and uh, in this way we can assign the permission to a user then how we can display those assigned permission of user and then how we can revoke those permissions and you can also revoke the multiple permissions you can pass them multiple permissions and similarly you can assign the multiple permissions to a user right whenever you are uh, give permission you are giving the permission here you can assign the multiple permission to a user role and then you need to call the sync permission and here you need to pass your permissions array so in this way you can create the multiple permissions right so hope you are <clears throat> now able to learn that how we can assign the permission directly to a user so in the next video i'm going to explain that how you can assign the permission to a role and then later on we will learn that how you can assign those roles to a user thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one